Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I wanted to speak to you about uh, consistency. Uh, it's fundamental, I feel, that everybody who's learning acrylic nails has to, has to grasp, especially when they're learning how to sculpt. So I'm gonna be going over these basics to show you uh, what you have to do so that you can perfect this when building a free edge, building the body, um, and then understanding how to get the product to work for you, not against you. All right, so what we're gonna do is, let's get in, and I went ahead and removed shine from the surface of the nail. I cleaned it with a uh, swipe, and then what I'm gonna do is apply a coat of protein bond, right, from cuticle to free edge, and then uh, we're gonna do this on all 10 fingers. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do a double coat, right? So this is what you would do on the natural nail. You would apply two coats, get that prepped, and ready to rock and roll, all right? So if I'm working on a form, what I wanna be able to do, just to give you guys a quick, you know, um, understanding, I want to submerse my brush, and I'm working with cover paint here, but if I want to submerse my brush, I want to be able to pick up a bead that's not going to run all over the place. So if I submerse my brush and I tap it and notice that I need to pull before I bounce, I need to pull before I bounce inside the powder so that I can get a fluffy bead, right? If I'm working on the tip, then I could go ahead and drain, right, the bead, right, again on one side. That way when I release it, to the form, right? It's not going to run all over the place. It's gonna stay stable, okay? If I'm working on the body, then what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to submerse my brush, same amount of liquid, and I need to pull, again, pull, bounce, and then instead of draining, I'm gonna count. One, two, three, and then notice that when I'm actually setting it down to release, Right, you can see how everything is slowly rolling. Okay, that is what I need for the cuticle area. Okay, so if again, if I'm working with a form, if I'm working on the form, I need to have a consistency that is not going to get away from me. So if I'm going to take a form and I'm going to place it again on right? Under the free edge, flush to the nail. I'm working on something that has zero body heat, right? So I need a consistency that is not going to get away from me. And in order to be able to do that, I need to submerse my brush. I need to pull back, then bounce, okay? Once I have a bead, release the excess from the back side of the brush on the towel, this will allow you to get it onto the form, right? Notice the time I'm taking. And then I will be able to work this again from side to side like clay, from the top of the bead. Look, I'm working it from the top of the bead, top of the bead, almost the base, right? So once you have it tucked from side to side, then what I could do is use either the side of the brush, right? I could use the side of the brush to make it straight, but then I could use the body of the brush to kind of pull the length that I need, right? And then continue to shape out whatever form or shape I want to be able to, uh, to create. But notice that I'm constantly going back over the surface. I don't get it up to the side and then go to the other side and get it back up. I'm constantly walking back over the surface. So once you actually have a free edge that is even from side to side, right? We have a tip. What we have to do is we have to start from the cuticle area and work this way. So remember, the consistency that I need now, I do not drain the bead. I submerse, right, my brush. I pull back. I bounce. I count. One, two, three, and around four. I go ahead and release I have a beautiful consistency that I could walk around the perimeter of the nail tight. Once it gets past the stress area, I can start to pull from the corners and the front of the bead. 
Look at that. So again, I'm not pulling from the back. I'm really pulling from the front of the bead so that everything runs not only this way, it runs tight on all ends, right? And then what I'll be able to do is control the upper arch, the apex with this part of the brush pushing back up into that area. But you'll notice that I barely touched the back end. A lot of my pressure on this part of my brush is pulling from the front end so that I'm able to get this type of a shape, right? You'll notice as I'm brushing from the side all the way down, everything is tight this way, everything is tight this way, everything is tight this way, right? So what's left is this. So there's two options. The option I like when I'm actually filling in that negative space, I like to submerse my brush. I will, again, I'll pick up a nice bead, I'll quickly dab it, and then in between those two, I will set this down, right, and then pull to blend back. Now, I don't brush forward. I use the body of my brush to walk it nice and even. Notice a lot of my pressure is here as I'm walking down towards the tip, boom right, to fill in all of that negative space. And as you can see, right, an active length nail, and at this point, if I wanted to do a little bit of brush back to blend back, I could definitely do that. But I'm, I'm using, again, the right consistency so that the acrylic doesn't get away from me. This is really important. You need proper consistency when you're building on the tip. You need proper consistency so that you don't have to worry about forcing the cuticle area. It has to be able to run flush around the back end. And then there is a proper consistency when you're actually filling in space. Okay? I hope that helps. What's up, guys? I'm the Education Coordinator for Young Nails Incorporated, and I really hope you guys are enjoying this nail tutorial with Greg Salo. Here's the thing. I don't think you guys know this yet, but there's actually Zoom classes for all this stuff, all about acrylic, all about gel, all about how to use the e-file correctly, just like they do in the salon. A lot of people don't know this. We have Zoom classes for all this stuff. So if you want to take it to the next level, here's what I want you to do and do it now. 714-992-1400. That's the number to call or email me, ray at youngnails.com. It's getting filled up, but I want you to call now. 714-992-1400 or email me, ray at youngnails.com. Now let's get back to that tutorial. This thing is awesome. Ooh tune in and give you guys a brief understanding on what it takes to be able to sculpt perfection. Remember, you know, you have to be able to sculpt beautiful nails. This is your canvas that you're going to be creating. So whatever design or art you're doing on top, it's going to be a work of art. All right. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. Um, this will definitely improve your consistency when it comes to all three of those levels. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe to channel.